this is a busy time of year um, and I'm back a week at least before I travel again and getting ready for spring I've got um, spring litters coming well yeah from mid-April so I'm just trying to get pigs moved try to wean the piglets and try again tomorrow so this video this is part one because there's so much going on at the moment there will be a part two so sunday will be part two because the work is continuing so um yeah it's good to get a lot of things done and uh enjoy the video Recycling an old piece of wood. I think actually I might varnish that. It looks quite cool. Beautiful. Amazing how fast things grow in just a few days. Look at this. This path is already completely overgrown. Lots of flowers. And I can see lots of bees. So this area has been fenced in nicely. I can see a handprint has been put for all time over there. So this has been made much stronger. And yeah, so we move this back a little bit, and so the gate is just going to be reattached again. Um, I think we're just waiting for this. So you can't budge that post. Oh, that's Nick's um, one. My one is much smaller. He must have left it here. Typical, I just get home and I see gingerbread is out. I'll have to go and see where she escaped from. They've been in the whole time. Hey gingerbread, waiting for me to get back and then escaping. I'll have to see how she got out. Uh, weaning day for Coco Pops babies, so I've got an idea where I'm going to put them to wean them. 
all lying down enjoying a sunny day. There's gingerbreads too I must take out of there as well and put them in my special spot that I think I have found for a weaning area. So my idea is um, to turn this chicken coop which hasn't actually weathered that well you can see um, yeah this didn't last that well but if I move out these boxes in here I've got a house for piglets I can put straw in there's grass for them to eat and um, I just need to make doubly sure that um, they can't get out underneath the sides of this but I think it's actually going to be fine they're not going to be able to get out I need to just doubly check take this out and take those nesting boxes out I can just put the nesting boxes probably on the roof um, yep and then my idea is to catch the piglets and put them in here because they it's going to be easier to catch them when they start going next week I don't know, maybe this, I think they'll just knock it over, so maybe we won't. I was going to say, maybe I should just leave this here for the pigs, but I think they would just knock that over. This, they're going to rip around all of this. Let's get this up. Right, so I've put the boxes on the top of the roof. I just need to clean this out and put some um, straw in here and then they've got like a nice house that they can stay in, lots of grass to eat, yeah. The only problem I see with this is this gate, they're going to push on this gate and um, mind you that closes quite securely but I might need to barricade this gate a little bit. Um, put like a, maybe put that one. Or there's some other bits over here I could use to barricade as a gate to keep them in. But I think this will work. This will work well. Yes, Betty, I know you're wanting to go out, but you are not going out because <laughs> Ruby, I don't want her to, she'll be following you and her baby is not going to be able to walk that far just yet. So maybe in a week or so you can go out, but you've got grass, you've got <laughs> lots of grass here to eat. Don't know why the grass is always greener on the other side. <laughs> Yes. Baby starting to look nice and fat. Getting around tummy. You're doing a good job as a mommy there, <laughs> Ruby. Nah. Yes. Loud Betty's back. She was like <laughs> silent after the baby was born. Now she's back. Nah. What's it, Henry? What's it, Henry? Yes. Now that uh, winter's coming to an end, I can see they're sort of rubbing themselves <laughs> against um, like the pallets and stuff over there because this is when the dorper start losing they wool and then for summer they'll just be hair sheep. Yes. Molly is definitely not looking as fragile as she was when she was first born. Because she was so tiny. 
definitely I actually saw her jumping around just now but I want to um, pick up this is still the wood you keep busy eating me over here yeah I want to pick up uh, these branches that were from the um, olive tree branches that I gave them to eat um, during olive harvest time <laughs> You love me, Henry. Hmm? You just want scratches all the time. You're very demanding. Very demanding. Ruby is really such a good mother. She checks on little Molly all the time, cleans her. Makes sure she has something to drink. Very, very good, Mom. So I'd planned to start working on um, the maternity wards and that today already, but um, I'm quite tired. Um, yesterday's flight from Norway back to Lisbon was delayed three hours, and I already had to wait, um, yeah, about four hours at the airport for what should have been the flight and then it was a three hour delay so um, only arrived uh, back in Lisbon after one in the morning and um, and then because I'd napped on the plane I thought I was strong enough to drive home and I was fine for the first hour and a half and then man I got so tired anyway I pulled off at a service uh, area had a half hour nap and I thought that would be fine. Carry on, but I could only drive like another. I was strong for another half hour and then I had to pull off and I had an hour nap. So um, I arrived back on the farm at um, 6 a.m. this morning, um, had a three hour sleep. And I think I feel like I need to just have a quiet day today, but yeah, seeing that gingerbread is out, that's already not going to be that quiet. What are you doing? Blueberry toffee and sweetie pie. Hmm? How are you doing? Then we flapjack and Tim Tam is. You talking to Betty? Yeah, just coming to check because these ones are going to need to get moved into maternity ward soon. So I've got to get them ready. Maybe I'll get some energy this afternoon. I don't know where the other two are. They might be lying down at the top. Sweetie Pie is looking very swell. Kim has made a little style over here. I think that's what it's called, a style. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to try and see if I can climb up and climb over. And then I don't have to open the gate. I just want to go and check to see where Tim Tam and Flapjack are. <coughs> All right, let's go look for some pigs. I've just spotted Tim Tam enjoying a rest. Oh, and there's Flapjack next to her. How's it going? The two of you. Hey? You're having a sleep, Flapjack and Tim Tam. Hmm. So this forest area is really very good for them, yeah. There's stuff to dig up under the trees, but 
Um, in between the trees, there's lots of grassy areas. You can see one over there as well. This is a very big pen, this one as well. Yeah, this is why I don't want to let you guys out because Molly feels she's got to follow you all. Now you're coming to see what I'm doing here. This roof has actually been doing quite well with all the rain, although there is like a little bit of a pocket there. But um, I must bring up those roof sheets and put them on. Because I do have the sheets to put up here. But there's a nice big house over here for them. There's a house on that side too, but I think they're staying mostly in this one. What's it, Toffee? You think you're missing out on something? Hmm? You think you're missing out? Yes. Are my shoes interesting? Hmm? Are these shoes interesting? I'm just watching. Like, I know the sheep can put their, put their heads through the sheep fencing. Um... They do have lots of grass in their thing, but of course they always want the grass on the other side. Um, but this part of the fence seems to be staying up by the grace of God over here. So this is going to have to get strengthened this week, probably. Are you coming for a scratch? Smitty pie? Hmm? You're such a loving girl. And you too, Blueberry. Both loving girls. Look at you. Coming to say hello. So, Sweetie Pie... Uh, Coco Pop is her mother, and um, Blueberry, Maggie is her mother. So I think Sweetie Pie Meh. is from Coco Pop and Oreo, and Mag uh, and um, Blueberry is from. Maggie and Chris. I'm have to come and get some samosas later. So this is where Kim bought my sage stick. Give me a nudge in the way. Yeah. Yeah. And all their, uh, these are the, what, the vision fairies. Vision fairies. So you put that where you're wanting to get happy visions, I suppose. So you got a vision. Do you want to show us your vision fairy? Vision fairy, right? Where's your vision fairy? She's here. She's tied up. And what are you calling her? Intention fairy, because you ride on the... On the card, you write an intention, you show it to her, mm -hmm. and then she helps you remind what your intentions are. Your oh, are. excellent. Hello. Hi. We got it. Are we going to be famous? Oh, I have got a channel, so you will be on my YouTube channel. All right. Oh, nice. He likes to be on YouTube channel. Does he like He's to be famous. on... Very famous. A bit. <laughs> a bit. <laughs> we also can film our, our page because we, we have a page in Instagram that we show our clients and friends what we do in our farm. Okay, land of Zoria. Land of Zoria. So where are you from originally? Uh, originally, Ooh. down Portugal in Lisbon. Lisbon? Yeah. Okay. Uh, but now I'm in uh, Ladoeiro. Okay. Uh, we live in uh, the area of Itanhanova. Yeah. Because I find that most people over here don't, they don't come from here, they move here from somewhere else. They don't. 
like uh, only people who are here are like 80 years old that have always been here. Yeah, there's created, young people also, but it is the But they've also smaller. moved it's from smaller. somewhere, yeah. They created smaller. a vacuum, you know, the young people moved to the cities and then yeah. a lot of people yeah. came. We come to fill the gaps. Yeah, the gaps. no, that's good, <laughs> that's good. But your veggies look so good. Yeah, it's my, um, it's one of the, the best things that we have in the farm. Yeah. Soon we'll have fruits and everything. This is one of the, one of the products that we do. This is aubergine, mm -hmm. preserved in our olive oil. Oh. Done with our garlic, our herbs. So it's a process. My wife does it. Uh, yeah. The only thing that's inside here that's, that's not from us is the, the wine vinegar. Okay. Uh, and uh, we sell it in the markets and uh, send it to other places also. By, Perfect. By mail. But uh, comes also yeah. on permaculture and agroforestry. Hi there. These are the famous yeah, no the famous pizzas. Can I order a pizza? The the um I think that a special pepperoni yeah. bacon one looks nice. And what's your name? Cindy. Cindy. Be ready in five minutes. Oh, fast, thank you. Jolly Julian. Hello. How are you doing? Been a long time. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not here very alive. often. <laughs> you keeping alive? Yeah, things are coming along at mine slowly. I see all the veggies you're growing. I'm very impressed. Isn't it? It's like, well, it's a small amount at the moment, but it's improving. Yeah, uh, and it's only feeding me, so I don't need a lot. Well, that's all you need to feed. Uh, and I just want to keep a rotation and get enough for each day. Yeah. Uh, three, three times a week. Okay, so this is my pizza that I ordered. It is enormous. Look at the size of my hand over here. I don't know how I'm going to eat this thing, but it looks delicious. Wood-fired pizza. Oh, look where the hairdresser is. Oh, oh I'm but I've got water in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get her hair a little bit more wet. We, we, we're going to see what this is going to look like. Oh, the dog is choked. We're going to have a nice hair. Oh, sorry. And a haircut here in the sunshine today. It's beautiful weather in Portugal. It hasn't been this beautiful ever since I got here. It's stunning weather. So that means it's time to get all nice and to get all fancy to get a haircut. So we're going to see how this goes. Isn't that the best intro ever? Yes. You hear my dog choking in the back because she's been digging and eating stuff, but she's okay. Don't be worried. But we can also make like a mullet. You got no, I don't hair. want a mullet. <laughs> no mullet. No mullet. Mullet. Mulletless territory over here. <laughs> Mulletless. Squares. We don't know what those things are called that you like put clips, man. Hair clips. No, 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 I don't slides. Need clips. I mean, I need something because I need to have sections. That's the word. Well, yeah, well, we don't I have we don't have sections, and we can't have sections. So I'm just putting my trust in Kim over here because she cut her dog's hair very well. So I'm thinking she should be able to do mine. <laughs> Ah, I'm going to be drowned though. <laughs> but She's throwing the water I all need, over my yeah, face. I need to section it. I can also <laughs> I don't know if it's water or spit. <laughs> it's water, but I need to section your hair off. So I need it to be more wet. Otherwise it won't stay because we don't have poofy. We don't have any clips. Oh, okay. To keep it in plate. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's <laughs> pouring water in my ear now. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm you if you don't see me in the next video, it's because I drowned. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can. 
You can do a nice comb over, babe. I don't want to comb over. <laughs> like, oh, comb overs. Oh my goodness, that dog is choking to death. Oh, you need to get a towel because hair is going to go all up in your shirt. It's okay. I will. I I'm will run. It. I'll run through the meadow. The meadow. Okay, there we go. I'm going to use this because then you can't really you can make mistakes, but it's not that clear if you do because I've never done this with the shears. Oh my goodness. Okay, done. You're ah, ready. you're ready, my girl. I've never actually done this, so hairdressers don't come for me. <gasps> okay, okay, I'm letting her cut my hair and she's never done it before. No, I have cut hair, but just not this short with shears. I do it with the tondeuse, with the clippers. But I, I see them do it, so like, how hard can it be? <laughs> it's really hard. I don't know. Me. I'll leave it a bit longer to start. Okay. We are now on the other side of the hair. Of the head. She looks like she knows what she's doing. We can be hopeful. Look, she even uses her fingers for measuring. Can be hopeful. Well, you did trust me with your hair, so. Yeah. Get the guy. I looks like Einstein with his hair flat. Yeah, also, right? Mm. <laughs> it's not good well I don't know did Einstein have good hair yeah he did it all stood up there oh my goodness <laughs> where are you hey oh my battery's going down is it not good it looks good this is all not cut huh? yeah no that's still got to get cut but the sides look good yeah, so the, I'm now doing the top. So just got to thin the so top. So this is, I'm, I keep cutting it back. I keep, uh, how do you say that, brushing it back because I need it. But this is now above the eyebrow. This has not been cut. Yeah. That, this will be, eventually it will be fine. Mm, I think it's not a bad job at all. I'm a bit, like, got hair growing everywhere now. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks good. I have to... Um... Get some strimming done, yeah. That's one thing I haven't got is a strimmer. So I need to get someone in with a strimmer to do some strimming around the house. Because that's a legal requirement. I think Kim did an okay job on my hair. Not too shabby. So I do have um, four of these little wheels. They're actually quite solid um, because Rickard was saying we need to like weld wheels, small wheels at the bottom of the of that gate that he, he had strengthened, concreted the posts in. I don't have a welding machine, but I'm thinking if I put wire through these holes, I can probably tie these onto the bottom of the gate so that it would work. And then, yeah, just do some, do sort of like the wire hinge thing for the gate like I did before. I'm going to have to do something like that because I don't have welding machines and things like that. Yeah. So, these are the wheels. That I, like. I just go for you. Okay. I get nervous. Don't get nervous. You're on YouTube. How can you be nervous? This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to New York Island. From the redwood forest to the Gulf Stream's water, this land was made for you and me. Beautiful.
beautiful <laughs> record. It beautiful. could continue for another five hours. Five okay, minutes. now we won't continue for five hours. No, That's no, a bit five much. Five minutes, five minutes. <laughs> it's a long song, but yeah. it, it goes like that all the time. So the good thing is three chords, nothing more. Three chords. Okay. That makes it easier. Some of the cabbages are bolting, I can see. So. So what I'm doing is I'm just um, getting some uh, treats to put in the big dog cage I've got so that I can try and entice piglets into that. If they just walk into the cage will be the easiest way uh, to move them because it's weaning day for them today. Um, but I'm not sure they're going to go so easily but yeah if i put this in the cage they might just walk in that's the hope these are just empty bags empty feed bags but uh, as you can see dogs come at night and uh, they rip them apart to see whether there's anything in them so uh, yeah people let their dogs loose at night and um, they come from yeah neighboring farm and um, rip things apart so that's why you've got to make sure things are closed up but yeah we would think they're going to rip apart empty bags that only contained grain okay i've got the cage ready the gate yeah, it will be open, but I'll be putting that in their pen. Um, so hopefully Coco Pop won't try and climb in here. So, um, uh, yeah, I've got to try and think how I'm going to do this so that Coco Pop doesn't go for this. So I've got to put some grain in here. I've got to move this into their pen and try and entice them in here. So I think I might feed Coco Pop last this morning. Let me feed all the others and then try and get these babies in here. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to catch them, but they move quite quickly. So this is, I'm thinking, the easiest way. So I have this cage prepped. But what I'm going to try and do is I'm trying to, going to try and get Coco Pop on the one side and the baby's on the other side. And so that way she won't, that I'll only have their feed in here. Um, that's the plan, to try and entice them into this cage. So I've successfully got Coco Pop on that side. So far I've got three piglets inside. If I can catch the other three, if they can go in. Oh, it's just running around. We need to get all six in there. And I might have to move three at a time. Some of them are clever and manage to pull out the side. I might move three at a time. Oh, are we going to get a fourth one coming in? I'm going to move three at a time. Look how sneaky. They managed to pull the leaves out. But the problem now is that I actually need another person because I can't even lift this up. Um, yeah. I'm going to move these three piglets, but I can't do this by myself. So hopefully someone will come at some point to help me here. They finished eating what's inside. Um, I've just sent a SOS to Kim and Rickard if they're free to help me move this cage because I can't lift it by myself. And then I'll come back and do the same with these three that are running around here because they haven't actually eaten. So they'll be hungry.
So this is the second lot. Kim has kindly come down to help me. And uh, we're just moving this up to join the first three. They're so busy eating, they're not even stressed. Look at them. Maybe it, I can sideways, only take, babe. yeah, because I can only take tiny steps that way. <laughs> there we go. Right. Yeah, you got them on your side now. Oh, they're heavy little boars. <laughs> I'm thinking they can't escape quite easily though. How? Huh. Look over there. Is that already like that? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Good morning. Morning, morning. So we have just moved this over here and then we just open the door and they go out. You can see they're already happily uh, eating grass. We're just waiting for these two gutses over here that don't want to leave the cage until they've finished every last grain of feed but this is going to be the weaning pen because um the the chicken mesh for this they can't get through that and also the, it goes um there's bricks on either side but it goes the grass and the soil is actually grown over it so it it was done that way so that animals couldn't dig under it to get in but that should also stop them from being able to get out so you can see they've got their water and they've got their house that's all snug with straw in. And this um, chicken wire, it actually goes inside in the grass and whatever's grown over. So they won't be digging their way out. I think this is a nice weaning area going to make it easier to contain them when we catch them for them to go to their new homes and I saw what you were doing jelly bean she's um, been attacking this fence post look here it is now almost completely out and she's trying to create an escape passage for her over here so um, She's able to look at this. She doesn't care that there's barbed wire at the bottom. So this is, yeah. I don't know, I'm gonna have to try and see if I can bash this post in a little bit because she's planning an escape. It's amazing, eh? These posts stay in solid for two, three years. And then um, when they decide they don't want those posts in anymore, then they lift them up. But these ones, I'm going to actually wean later in the week. So they will be here for a little bit longer. A couple of more days and then I'll put them in with the others. But I need to address this. So it's not as wobbly as it was, but it's still not perfect and it's now at an angle, but this is all going to have to get fixed again. But she's going to be moving out of here um, this week anyway, um, as the babies get weaned. 
It's been a long day. I'm dirty. I am sweaty. I'm covered in scratches, blood. But I think it's been a productive day. So that's always good. Always good. I just need to sit down for a bit now. Have something to drink. So in the meantime, Stay sane, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. This is so nice and cold. My face is so hot. Carrying heavy things. Herding pigs. Best way to end a day. I remember the days All those years ago that never fade away Call the time and place